Mr. Speaker, I refer the House to my entry in the Register of Members' Financial Interest. Um, Mr. Deputy Speaker, the taxpayer support for British businesses and jobs during this pandemic has been a lifeline for many. But today we hear that Rolls Royce, which has benefited handsomely from the public purse, whilst moving highly skilled jobs abroad, intends to shut, out, shut down its historic Barnesville site until after Christmas and offshore the work to Japan, Singapore and Spain in a clear attempt to break the current industrial action there. Does the Chancellor agree that this kind of bully boy strike busting tactics are utterly unacceptable and that all financial support must be immediately withdrawn until Rolls Royce comes to its senses, ends its lockout and gets back to the table with the United Union to resolve this dispute? Councillor. Well, Mr. Speaker, I know the aerospace industry has, uh, has been suffering a particularly difficult time over the past few months, and that has impacted businesses like Rolls and others up and down the supply chain. Uh, we have put uh, some measures in place to help airports and indeed get people flying again uh, and enjoy conversations with specific companies all the time. Uh, but I'd urge, uh, urge all companies to work constructively with their workforces through what is a difficult period uh, and hopefully find resolution. Collectively, we are all trying to protect jobs, Mr Deputy Speaker, but it is, of course, a very challenging set of circumstances.